this episode of ARS TV. We stop in at Schwartz Performance for an update on Jeff's latest projects. Next, we interview John Marquise about his newly restored 1970 GTO Judge. Our feature this month is the 2014 Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals held in Chicago, Illinois. All this and more on this episode of ARS TV. I'm Jeff Schwartz of Schwartz Performance. We're back in the shop after the SEMA show. Uh, the Raybestos Camaro uh, is on its way back. Uh, it was uh, presented to its new owner, Brian Williams of Virginia, and he's a regular car guy, had a 78 Camaro through high school, was putting the trans back in it uh, a couple months back, and went in to take a break, and the uh, commercial on uh, Spike Channel was playing, and he saw it, entered to win real quick, and then went back out working on his car. Uh, got the call a couple weeks ago that he won. He's really happy about the car and he's gonna have a lot of fun with it. This 67 Corvette is coming along. We're working on uh, mocking up all the wiring and uh, getting all the details done. We've got the air conditioning installed, the serpentine drive, fabricated the air intake. And we typically build everything first and then take it apart, paint it, put it back together. This is that 52 Ford pickup that's getting powered by a Coyote engine. We've extended the cab uh, six inches uh, to give the owner a little more room to fit inside. And uh, Greg's working on a new roof panel for it right now. We've got the planishing hammer and the English wheel out and he's forming that to get a nice curve and uh, then we'll weld that in there and be wrapped up with the cab. This is the chassis and engine for the 52 Ford truck. This is the Boss 302 version of the Coyote engine. As you can see, these are pretty gigantic, but this thing will be really fun driving around the truck with that new uh, modern Ford engine. This is the bed of the 52 Ford pickup, and uh, as you can see, we're mocking up the bed strips with uh, stainless steel and some uh, mock-up wood pieces. This is getting a special type of wood and uh, we're just using mock-up pieces to make a pattern and then we'll cut and uh, make up the uh, actual wood that's being used. Um, we're also mini tubbing this for the wider tires. We're using a 335-3018 BF Goodrich on this. These tubs will get welded in and it'll look pretty much just like a factory job when we're all done. We've constantly got chassis under production here at Schwartz Performance. This is a uh, 69 Camaro chassis, uh, one of everyone's favorite muscle cars of that era. Here's another one of our full frames for unibody cars. This one here is a uh, Mopar B body. As you can see, we've got a, a Dana 60 rear end going in this one, a uh, big heavy unit and uh, he won't break that one. Here we've got the 75 Trans Am we talked about last month. We've uh, taken the original five mile an hour bumper mechanism and uh, lightened it with uh, lightning holes, as I'll show you in a second. And then uh, this is a fiberglass piece that takes a lot of weight out of it. So we probably reduced the weight by over 100 pounds in the nose of the car which will obviously help handling. Uh, this one is getting the fuel-injected Pontiac engine and uh, Schwartz chassis, of course. We've done the same thing in the rear of this Trans Am. Jim has taken the bumper reinforcement and basically Swiss cheesed it. And then we've got a fiberglass cover here instead of the urethane ones, which are prone to shrinkage. And uh, this one here fits real nice to the body. And typically the rubber ones are, uh, they shrink and they don't match at all. So no way to really fix that, except putting a fiberglass one. We're still working on this right-hand drive 70 Cuda. Uh, this is a 6.1 Hemi and we're gonna be upgrading the internals and putting a supercharger on there. Uh, the goal with this one is 750 to 800 horsepower. We can't have a new project coming out of the Schwartz shop that makes less horsepower than the production Challenger Hellcat, so this one's got to beat that. Hey 
As mentioned before, this uh, Cuda is going to India and it's going to be a right hand drive car, so we're having to completely rework the firewall and the trans tunnel. Uh, Jim here is uh, remaking the tunnel, and then uh, once that's done, then we'll start positioning the pedals and the steering column on the right hand side. We just got back from SEMA and uh, it was one of the best shows ever. Lots of people, very upbeat. Uh, everybody's busy and uh, building hot rods and uh, having a lot of fun. We had an opportunity to do a few burnouts there for the camera and uh, the uh, final party called uh, SEMA Ignited. And uh, as you can see, I got a big mess on my desk. I got to clean up lots of notes and people to return phone calls. Um, we hope to be uh, you know, doing more television appearances on various shows in the future and, uh, you know, lots of good stuff uh, coming up for 2015. Okay. Hello everybody, my name is John Marquise. I'm one of the partners here at TriPower Automotive and I'd like to show you my 1970 Pontiac GTO Judge Hardtop. This is one of my cars out of my personal collection uh, that we have just completed here at the shop within the last couple of months. It's been a four-year project. Uh, not a body-off restoration, but more of a survivor, uh, more of a survivor restification uh, created to drive and enjoy. Uh, it's a, it's a, again, it's a 1970 GTO Judge with the 366 horsepower Ram Air 3 four-speed. Uh, drivetrain, all original drivetrain, and it has some really cool features. One is obviously it's orbit orange, my favorite color, a color that I've been looking for for well since probably 1983 when I got my first GTO. This is something I've always wanted. Uh, black interior, uh, hood tack, uh, formula steering wheel, which is a, a very important item to me uh, from some personal uh, history. Uh, my father had a, a 70 Grand Prix with a a formula wheel and I really wanted to find a car with a formula wheel because I remember how cool it was. A couple of real cool features on the Judge uh, that they made in 1970 was the the blacked out air scoops, the rally two wheels without the chrome trim ring, and uh, the, of course the side stripes. Uh, when we redid the car I wanted it to have an authentic feel, authentic look, uh, and this car is painted in lacquer paint. I was also able to find NOS decals and stripes for the car all GM products and uh, I think what it does is it just has the it makes the car look like a, a factory built car uh, not too shiny uh, paint not so great but it's uh, very nice and uh, eventually it'll it'll look like original something very exciting for here for us here at TriPower is that this car is now featured in the November issue of 2014 muscle car review it's part of the color my world exhibit it's going to be one of the four cars featured at the show at the muscle car and Corvette Nationals this year in, in Rosemont, Illinois. Uh, the four cars that are on the cover of the magazine this, this month will be uh, the beginning portion of this uh, uh, pretty large, uh, very colorful, uh, high impact color exhibit that they're gonna put on. Uh, my car was chosen because I, uh, it was a GM product. They needed a GM product for their, for their cover. We are also going to have our own display there this year, uh, TriPower, at the first time at the Corvette, Muscle Car Corvette Nationals, that we're going to have our own display with some of the cars that we have done and cars that we are working on presently here at the shop. So that's going to be exciting. We're going to have a 1970 Ram Air 4 GTO Judge hardtop that is a, a complete body off restoration that just got uh, best of show out of 450 cars at the St. Charles Indian Uprising Pontiac Show. We're also going to be bringing down our uh, 1967 Firebird uh, Resto Mod uh, race car custom uh, and as well as our 1968 Charger which is going to be another full custom uh, build and uh, you'll see that there uh, as well.
My name is Dennis Barker. I'm the sales manager with Nikki Chicago, and uh, we're introducing the new Hot Rod Edition Camaro. It's a very limited production car. There's going to be 67 of them built to commemorate the 67 years that Hot Rod Magazine has been on the newsstands. We feel very honored that uh, Hot Rod Magazine has elected Nikki Chicago to build these cars in Todd Wenzel Chevrolet in Hudsonville, Michigan to distribute the cars nationwide. We are the exclusive dealer of these cars. Um, with the cars, you have four different engine packages, anywhere from 475 to 700 horsepower. Uh, with the Hot Rod Magazine Camaro, limited edition Camaro, you get the Hot Rod Magazine emblems, you get, the, uh, you get Hot Rod Magazine embroidered seats, Hot Rod Magazine embroidered uh, mats with it. You get different wheel options, different tire options, different suspension options. Anything, the, we will build it any way you want the car built. You can go, you can go to www.toddwenzel.com or www.nickychicagoinc.com and find all the details on the new Hot Rod Magazine Limited Edition Camaro. Schaefer, and this is my 1970 Pontiac GTO Ram Air 4 Judge. I've owned the car for approximately two years. And the reason I wanted one like this is my first GTO was a 1970 hardtop that I purchased in 1971, but always had my heart set on a black Ram Air 4 hardtop. A friend of mine saw this car in northern Illinois sitting in a front yard with a for sale sign on it. Thank God he's a Chevy guy because he called me to tell me about the car. I called the guy, set up an appointment, went up to look at the car. It was painted black. It looked like it had been painted with a broom. The paint on it was thick. There were no decals. There was a, a wing on the back and uh, I assumed that Worst case, it was a, a GTO, maybe a Ram Air 3, maybe a Ram Air 4. Got up to the car, looked at it, saw the Ram Air cable, and then once I opened the hood, the engine was apart, but I saw the oval parts and thought, this might be a Ram Air 4. And after calling Jim Madison in, at PHS and having him run the VIN, much to his surprise and my surprise, it was a real black, black Ram Air 4 four-speed car. And the best part about the find is it was all there. All original numbers matching. Engine, transmission, rear end. An amazing find that the thing had not been blown up. So, the car was all there, but it needed a complete restoration. So I took it to the guys that I think are the best in, in doing first-class restorations, and that's Tri-Power Automotive in Libertyville, Illinois. They did a tremendous job on the car, nut and bolt restoration. Uh, its first showing was at the Indian Uprising in St. Charles, Illinois, which is sponsored by the Cruise and Tigers GTO Club. It took one of five best of shows out of 447 cars. And now here it is at McCacken, and we'll see how it does. But again, I fulfilled one of the main items on my bucket list was to own a black, black 70 Ram Air 4.
Hi, this is Matt Planning. I'm the inventor of the Ready Rad radio adapter uh, here at the uh, Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals 2014. Happy to be among all these great automobiles and fine folks. Ready Rad is a, is a device that allows you to listen to any source in any vehicle radio without changing anything about the car. We have an AM version that I'm happy to say has been completely redesigned in 2014. Uh, super frequency uh, response, uh, you know, frequency stability is over the top. Reduce the price, only 99 bucks for all Ready Rads now. And so our FM version, which is in stereo, the AM version, which is a positive ground and negative ground option, works on either 6 or 12 volts. And Ready Rad is the way to have your tunes on your terms. www.rediscoverradio.com. You can also go to readyrad.com, but rediscoverradio.com. I'm Steve from Legend Racing Enterprises in Schaumburg, Illinois. Um, we're here at the Muscle Car Nationals 2014. Uh, we brought, uh, I believe, eight cars out of uh, some of what we do here to the show. Um, we have our, our old trusty 57 Chevy we brought uh, with the new owner. Um, Tim Arkbauer's 69 Camaro over there. Um, our 56 Pontiac wagon. Um, what we do at Legend Racing Enterprise is basically uh, any machine work, engine building, uh, any muscle cars, whether Mopar, Ford, Pontiac, Chevy, uh, anything you can think of, we can do it at Legend Racing. Uh, been in business over 20 years, um, small family business, and uh, we like to take care of our customers and make sure that they have the product that they want at the end of the day. So here's a little bit of what we got, and uh, you can take a look. Our website is Legend Racing ENT. Dot com. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Legend Racing ENT uh, on Facebook, Legend Racing Enterprises. Um, we're in Schaumburg at 616 Morse Avenue, uh, Schaumburg, Illinois. Uh, our phone number is 847-923-8979. the auto archaeologist. I write for Hot Rod Magazine, Muscle Car Review, Mopar Collector's Guide, and a variety of other magazines. I am, what I do is I drive around the country looking for unique and special barn finds, junkyard finds, garage finds, document them, and then bring them to you in publications and online. Um, at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals, I've been assembling a variety of rare and unique cars that have been sitting for five, ten, some 30, 40 years, and uh, probably one of the most unique is this Boss 429 race car with its original car carrier, and it just goes up from there. We got Shelby's, we got AR Kudos, and everything in between. The big thing about the barn finds is that they're unique. There is not another one like it. You might see two Shelby's in here, but there's not another one like with the same patina, the same story. Every single car in here, even if it's a 396 Nova or a Corvette, it's unique and only one in the world. You can go and see a, a row of shiny 63 Corvettes. You can go see a row of Hemi Cudas, fully restored. But it's the ones that have been untouched by time, or have been touched, covered in dirt and crap, and have its original tires that make it special, make it unique, make it something that people want to see 
and go out of their way to see. Um, you can find me online on Facebook at The Auto Archaeologist. Um, you can find me on the Hot Rod Facebook page as well. Or if you want to go to my website, which where I put up all my adventures after a while, it's barnfinds.org. Thank you to our sponsors. Alston Race Cars, for all your race car needs, call or stop by today. Burgess & Burgess, suppliers of cut flowers. Stop in at Walmart for all of your flower needs. Meineke Car Care Center of Mundelein and now Lake Villa. Stop in for all of your exhaust, general automotive needs, and emission testing. Schwartz Performance, where classic style meets modern technology. Get your custom performance chassis at Schwartz Performance in Woodstock, Illinois. Be sure to stop by our Facebook fan page to keep up with everything going on with ARS Promotions and ARS TV.